you know. So, you can a summer 22 question paper 1 2. So, we're going to start with this one. So, skeletal formula of M is shown. Okay. And he's asking us, KB, what, uh, what will happen if you, if you reacted with excess of Li ALH4? So, so that's your that's your reducing agent. Uh, oxidation reduction of right somewhere. Oxidation reduction here apart. It's a reduction, reduction, right? So LALH4, what does it do? It uh, it turns a carboxylic acid back into an aldehyde and back into a primary alcohol. It also turns a ketone back into a secondary alcohol. So, so I've got a I've got a ketone over here. This ketone over here, you ketone yap, you know, that will turn into an alcohol. So OH Double bond it will just become an alcohol. That's it. And this carboxylic acid as well, it will turn back into an into an alcohol. So it's going to turn back into an alcohol. I mean, this carbon, focus on this carbon atom, the one that was forming carboxylic acid, that will turn into an alcohol. This carbon atom, which was forming an aldehyde, it will turn back into an alcohol. Is this clear? Are you clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Uh, ye ke, uh, the other thing is uh, that dilute acid is then added. So kya hoga? I don't think kuch hoga. What will happen if you add a dilute acid? Uh, alcohol, alcohol, alcohol. What does an acid do? Should do nothing. Absolutely nothing. So the answer to this question is going to be what is the final molecular formula of the product? So you got uh, four carbon atoms, TK. So here's your one, two, three, four, sorry, five carbon atoms, right? So it's C5. And uh, HS is going to be two Hs. There's going to be one H with this one. There's going to be two Hs. And this one will also have two Hs. So how many Hs do you have? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I've got C5, H12, and O3. Is that clear? Yes. So that's yes. it. So 35 for your answer, and that's going to be 35 is D. TK, we got D. Uh, next one, we've got 34. Which reaction has a product that gives a yellow precipitate when reacted with, with alkaline aqueous iodine? Iodoform, this is the iodoform test that we did. TK, we did a test which was. Uh, yeah, I did ketones. Where did you get test? Our iodoform test. This one. So we did the alkaline aqueous iodine, NaOH aqueous plus I2. Okay. So it identifies a specific group, and that group was that you need a methyl, and it has to be next to a C double bond O, or you need a methyl which should be next to COH and H. So you will apart two together, it will form a carboxylic acid. This carbon will form CHI3, which is a yellow precipitate. That's what's going to happen. So. They're saying, who's going to give you a product that's going to do that? Starting with the first one, 2-chloropropane. What is 2-chloropropane? 2-chloropropane is? Propane is this thing. 2-chloro means there's going to be a Cl on the second one, right? There's going to be H. H over here, H over here, H over here, H over here. H over here. It's wound with dilute aqueous NOH. What does NOH do? This is a halogenoalkane. What does the NOH do? halogen alkanes may SN1 SN2 reactions to uh, either so what does what does uh, the alcohol the halogen alkanes I said what what does that do it does this thing kid your halogen alkanes enough the CL will get substituted by OH ions if you put any which aqueous NACN, it's going to get substituted by CN. If you put uh, NST, it's going to get substituted by NH2. So we know that it's getting substituted by OH. So in this place, you're going to get uh, you're going to get OH. So this is clear. Now, will it give you a positive test for iodoform? I think it will because it has this group. It's got a CH3. 
next to a ch oh ye jo aerofoam test tha na that was we discussed kya tha ch3 next to a serial bond o or ch3 next to ch oh so the first one is going to be correct is this clear ji sir मिथाइल <laughs> when you heat under reflux what is methyl ethanoate uh, that's an ester so double bond o oh methyl is the alcohol side so methyl means one carbon atom ethanoate is the carboxylic acid side so that means two carbon atoms so double bond o only side where you're going to have two carbon atoms so cs3 this will be cs3 as well if you heat it under reflux the ester will break hydrolyze and this side will turn into an alcohol और जो वो वाली साइड है ना दैट विल टर्न इनटू अ कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड बैक अगेन द ओएच विल कम बैक बट एनीवेज अगेन नो आइडोफोम टेस्ट पॉजिटिव बिकॉज़ आइडोफोम जो था वो मीथाइल ये ये याद रखना कि आइडोफोम जो है वापस किधर एक तो अच्छा वेयर इज द इथर as so remember this the aerofoam test is not with methyl with any serial bond o it's only serial bond o ya be r means a carbon chain it means it it this option you either have an h or a carbon chain uh main yahan pe na add bhi kar deta hu ke it's not it's not going to be theek hai so uh not for carboxylic acids or esters or any other group uh r represents a carbon chain which is known as the alkyl chain R represents that. As anyway, so so ethanol is heated in a reflux with potassium dioxide. So you this method. Propanol is reacted with NaBH four. So propanol will followed by dilute sulfuric acid. You need something like why is it always followed by dilute sulfuric acid? So propanol is prop three carbon atoms. Al is aldehyde. Aldehyde with double bond O is right at the end. That's what propanol is. इसको अगर रिड्यूस करोगे एन ए बी एच फोर के साथ इट विल टर्न इन टू एन एल्कोहल सो इट विल टर्न इन टू द कार्बन इंस्टेड ऑफ एन आल इट विल बिकम एन एल्कोहल तो अगेन इट्स कॉट सी एस थ्री लेकिन नेक्स्ट ओर देर इज नो देर सी एस टू तो इसका भी आइडोफोम टेस्ट पॉजिटिव नहीं होगा फॉर आइडोफोम टेस्ट पॉजिटिव यू नीड टू है सी एस थ्री नेक्स्ट टू सी एच ओ एच it has to be ch and oh has to be next or not uske baad ja ke uske baad ja ke nahi acha khair ye question to pehle clear tha it was option a this one agle pe aa jao primary alcohols can be oxidized to aldehyde using either potassium dichromate 6 or potassium magnate 7 the reaction mixture changes color as the oxidizing agent is reduced what are the color changes so dichromate 6 ka kya hota hai color change does anyone remember और केमो फोर का क्या होता है सर फॉर डाइक्रोमेट आई थिंक इट्स अ ऑरेंज टू ग्रीन सर ठीक है एंड द अदर वन इज पर्पल टू कलर लेस पर्पल टू कलर लेस सर ठीक है ये सारे कलर चेंजेस ना ऑक्सीडेशन के ये ऊपर लिखे हुए हैं ठीक है किया अच्छा सारे कलर चेंजेस इससे ऊपर लिखे हुए हैं इसमें लिखे हुए थे जहां पे ये वाला पार्ट K2O, 
and you had the felling as well. Dolan's mate was forming a silver mirror, and you had felling, which is copper two plus signs. It's kind of blue, but it turns brick red when it when it reacts. <laughs> so um, next is. Uh, this question, the structure of conine is shown. Conine can be synthesized by reacting ammonia with, with a dibromo compound. What is X? So you need to figure out uh, what X is. Can these two react and you get this thing. TK. So you get this thing. So first thing is uh, and you get HPR as well. Now, the first thing to notice is okay, this NH3 becomes part of this thing. So, NH3 comes in and it becomes this thing. So, the NH3 is going to be Like, I'm getting this molecule, right? So, if I want to figure out what X is, I'm going to pull the NH3 out again, out of it. So, if I pull it out, these are the carbon atoms, right? I've, I've removed it. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. NST add kya tha na usme. To agar reverse pata karna if you want to figure out what X is, you added NST and you got this molecule. So if you want to figure out the, like in what mo molecule NST was added, you pull the NST out again, theek hai? Hon hai clear hai, M is clear hai? Yes. Yeah. So, it's a. It's carbon. 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 Plus, uske was BR the, BR ke the BR wapas add kar lo, toh, I guess uski jagah there was actually there was actually BR. Yes, sir. 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 So BR again. So basically the NST got added over here. So I just pulled it out and I got this molecule and I brought in the BR back again. We were that the BR nickel gata or ski jaga NST fit over gata. Take it as it is this clear? Yes, sir. The many three common sense use here. I have not, I don't know what the reaction is, but I figured out maybe you're adding NST to something and you got this product. So I just Removed the NST back again. I put in the BR back again. Uski um, And I'll, I'll explain what the reaction is. This reaction is a halogenoalkane reaction. It's a, it's a halogenoalkane, theek hai? So if we have a look at halogenoalkane back again, to kaap is halogenoalkane? Ah, ye the. To, that's alcohols, I guess. That's yeah, halogenoalkanes. Achha, halogenoalkanes, we studied one reaction, which was ke, if you have a halogenoalkane, you put NH3, to what happens? The CL is going to NH3, okay? Yeah, NH2 is yeah. The same thing happened over here. Uh, but the only difference is you had one NH3. When that, because of the electronegative bromine, the carbon has a very strong positive charge. This carbon also has a very strong positive charge. So what's, what basically happened was when NH3 came in with its lone pairs, it acted as an as an as a nucleophile. And it got attracted to both carbons which were positively charged. Is this clear? A BR had get replaced BR. Is this clear? Yes. Basically who are. So that's uh, 
so you have to name the molecule now. That's how many, what is the name of the molecule? Like without the NHC. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven or eight. Eight kya hota hai? Oct? Yes. Mujhe to definitely not a pent. First two, first two to nickel gets. It's, an, it's definitely an octane. I said, out of the remaining two, which one is the right option now? Like, which one is this molecule? Kaun D. D. Ek second. BR Yes, sir. D has 8 Cs. Achha, BRF has CH2, 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 4 CH2s, right? So, there are 4 CH2s. Then there's CHBR. Okay, there's CH2, CH2 again. There are 2 CH2s. Then there's CH3. Ah, exactly. Wo D is the right one. Exactly, Sada match. Kar it's uh, the first one is uh, BR with CH2, BRC, I mean, BR with four CH2s, 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 the BR and CH2 four times. Then there is CHBR, open the CH2, CH2, those should over here, and then you for a CH3 at the end. Is that clear? G, sir. Yes, sir. Joe 31. As I've got the diagram shows the structure of two halogenoalkanes P and Q. So which both compounds can be hydrolyzed? As again, it's halogenoalkanes. Which way is correct? Uh, compound more readily hydrolyzed. So we did that the halogenoalkanes, the BR will uh, will get replaced by by OH, right? And uh, so that's the first thing. Now the question is, whose reaction is going to be faster? So this halogen alkanes, we did do this. Halogen is going to be faster, so it's okay. And we also did which reaction is going to be faster. So the faster reaction, how is the reactivity written here? So the reactivity of halogen alkanes, the bigger atom is going to have a faster reaction. Because smaller atoms, they make stronger bonds. And if the bond is strong, then it would be very hard to actually break the bond. So this is the F bond that's going to be very strong. So it's a this one is a strong bond. That would make it unreactive. So, if it doesn't break, then where will it go? So, so compound more readily hydrolyzed, hydrolyzed, that's going to be P. Is this clear? Yes. Hey, tell me, uh, are these primary halogenoalkanes secondary or tertiary? What kind of halogenoalkanes are there? The carbon atom over here, the alpha carbon atom on which the functional group is present, it's attached to three different groups. Tertiary. Tertiary, yeah, okay. Or what will it be tertiary? Both of them are tertiary halogen alkenes. So how does uh, how does nucleophilic substitution happen for tertiary halogen alkenes? But halogen alkanes can be reaction with the halogen. Mo N S three will come, C N will come, and O H will come. Okay, there were two reaction mechanisms. For tertiary, it was it was S N one mechanism tertiary. Okay, yeah. Because what happened was that because the carbon is surrounded by large groups, the O H ion has nothing to do in the first step. C L could be it's going to be a slow step. C L might break on its own, and the C L C L ions might leave. Heat, there'll be collisions and the CL atom will take away the electrons and it will break off. And the carbon will become a carbocation. It's going to have a positive charge. So the OH ions will come in and they'll join it. So that's what the mechanism is. That's an SN1 reaction mechanism. That's a primary mein hota tha. Ke primary mein the carbon has a very strong positive charge and it's not surrounded by large groups. So the Nucleophile will attack directly. And uh, the OH ions will join in and the CL will get knocked out. Okay, so, in this case, it's going to be SN1. Which is the other case, the primary one, that was SN2. Is this clear? Yes, sir. Achha, ab ye ke... So 
Sagla. Uh, the alkene reacts with an excess of HBr via an electrophilic addition reaction, so uh, which is a major product. So you've got an alkene, many carbons are So it's uh, how many? That's uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six here, no? Line me. One, two, three, four, five, And there's one over here. And you've got a double bond over here. And you've got a double bond at the end as well. Now, what rule was that HPR is going to get added, right? So, you're going to add HPR over here. So, Markovnikov's rule was that H will get added to which carbon atom? Left one, right one. This one has one H, this one has. The rule was... Okay, the H will want to bond with the carbon that's already bonded to more H atoms. So, H will come here. Right. And the BR is going to get added on the, on the left one. Okay, remember this rule. That's the Markovnikov's rule for major products. There was a reason behind that. We're not talking about the reason right now. Just the rule that is. Is this clear? And then there will also be BE yoga. There will also be BE yoga that HPR will come with it. So either uh, this one has one H already. So when the HPR gets added, uh, the double bond is going to break. It will turn into a, into a single bond. H will get added to the atom that's already bonded to more H atoms. The BR will get added to the other one. So, ye aapke paas aur baaki sa 3 h honge iske sath p3 h's honge aur ye beech mein do h's honge so what is the name of this molecule Two five dibromo to methyl hexane Five, na? Ha. This is the this is the longest chain, and that is definitely hexane or two methyl hexane. Okay, there's a there's a methyl group attached on the second one, so it's two methyl hexane. Or bromines ke spell again. There's one bromine at two, and the other one is at five, na? Five, five, ke six, five. So B appears to be correct. It's a, it's a, it's, it's hexane and it's got three branches. It's a two be methyl and two be bromine and there's another one at five. So it's two five dibromo, two methyl hexane. Shagla, well, a free radical substitution reaction between methane and uh, chlorine involves initiation, propagation, termination, which was correct. Do you know what happened in initiation? The first, very first step of free radical. Is to be pehle chale jaate hain alkene se pehle. Alkene me kafi kuch tha. Alkene ko khas chiz nahi thi. Acha, so I'll just go over free radical substitution. Uh, alkenes had halogeno. In the first step, Cl radicals would get formed. And there was a homolytic fission. This is called homolytic fission, that the bond broke equally. Second step was propagation. The CL radical would then start attacking the H atoms in a in an alkane. So H ko chinta tha, H CL ban jata tha, wo carbon ke pas phir bonds pore nahi hota tha. Carbon phir jaake CL molecule ko kahi se jod leta tha apne saan. And it will become a halogen of alkane. Termination was, ke any two radicals that were formed in the previous step, they would just combine. So, As an involved in initiation stage, that is homolytic fission. TK or uh, methyl radicals would get produced. Well, this process is the first step. UV light pinna, the bond will break homolytically and it will produce two CL radicals. Or methane is the Propagation step, what will happen is that the CL radicals will attack the methane. And 
और वो जाके ना एच को छीन लेता है तो एच सी एल बन जाएगा एंड यू विल हैव अ मीथाइल रेडिकल दैट्स गोइंग टू गेट फॉर्म्ड इज दिस क्लियर दिस So next one, K. Compound Z has two chiral centers. A sample of Z contains all four, four possible optical isomers. Uh, this sample of Z reacts with hot ethanolic anyways to produce a mixture of only three isomers. Two of these isomers are optical isomers of each other. What could be the formula of Z? To help body receive information, they did. So Z could be. I guess you can only do trial and error in this case. You would have to apply this all this information to each one of them. So compound Z first thing has this formula. So first, you figure out karo, first information. Who has this formula? Kita carbons that's seven, right? Away you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So okay, first, first seven carbons, right? Maybe some peri line. Pe. This one also has one, two. Three, four, five, six, and seven, right? This one has one, two, three, four, five, six. This one must be seven, Nikhil. Two, three, four, five. All of them have seven. Okay, so it's okay. Count the H's. They should have thirteen H's, right? So three H's with this one. One H with this one. Two H's. Two H's. Two H's, two H's. This one will have one H. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. ठीक है, that's fine. This one will also have exactly the same. Ah, uh, इसका देख लेते हैं. I think it's going to have exactly the same as well. Three with this, three with this, two with this, two with this, two with this, and there's going to be one with this. So three and three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. बस ये आखिर फिर इसका मतलब है सारों के फॉर्मूला तो ठीक है. Uh, इसका वैसे कंफर्म कर लो. It's going to be इतना टाइम जाएगा कर लिया ये भी कर लो फिर. Three. This is going to have one. This is going to have two. This will have one. कितना हो गया? Three, 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 nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. ठीक है. All the formulas are correct. We just wasted our time with the first information. It has two chiral centers. What what is a chiral center? The one that has four different groups attached to it. So two chiral centers. This one definitely has two chiral centers. It's a blue me mark here. This carbon, if you stand over here, all four sides are different. If you stand over here, all four sides are different. Is this clear? It it's got two chiral centers. Yes. वो अगले बार के पास भी ना दे टू कैल सेंटर्स दिस कॉन्ट बी वन एच एंड वन एच ओवर हेयर एस वेल यू स्टैंड ओवर हेयर ऑल फोर साइड्स दे लुक डिफरेंट ठीक है वो स्टैंड ओवर हेयर ऑल फोर साइड्स आर डिफरेंट दिस वन विल आल्सो हैव टू कैल सेंटर्स अच्छा और फिर दिस वन That's not chiral because both sides are CH threes and they're exactly the same. This is not chiral. Uh, is this chiral? I think these both are chiral. So, these both are chiral. If you stand over here, the top side, bottom, all four sides are different. If you're standing over here, all four sides are also different again, different. So again, first of time, there is no benefit in this. I just think a sample of Z contains all four possible optical isomers. So, this statement has what meaning? This statement means that it's a combination, right? If it's got two chiral centers, right? Chiral centers, you know, mirror images, like your two hands, they're mirror images of each other, right? Is that clear? That what a chiral center is. So, why is he talking about four optical isomers when it has two chiral centers? Because जो कैरल सेंटर होगा ना उसकी दो वर्जन होंगी वन वुड दिल बी मेरिड इमेजेस ऑफ ईच अदर तो टोटल कॉम्बिनेशन कितने बनते हैं वो फोर बनते हैं कि आइदर बोथ ऑफ देम विल बी प्लस और बोथ ऑफ देम विल बी द मेरिड वर्जन सो दिल बी माइनस माइनस और वन ऑफ देम विल बी प्लस दर वन विल बी माइनस और दिस वन विल बी प्लस एंड दिस वन विल बी माइनस राइट सो दिल बी फोर 
डिफरेंट ज्योमेट्रिक अरेंजमेंट ठीक है वो इसी तरह अगर आपके okay. पास चार हाथ हो नहीं सॉरी दो सेट्स ऑफ टू सेट्स ऑफ कैरल हैंड हो लेफ्ट और राइट और एक किसी और के भी लेफ्ट और राइट तो कितने कॉम्बिनेशन बनेंगे दिल भी दिल भी फोर कि दोनों का लेफ्ट हो या दोनों का राइट हो या एक का लेफ्ट हो दूसरे का राइट हो या दूसरे का राइट हो इसका लेफ्ट हो ठीक है सो दिल भी फोर डिफरेंट जोमेट्रिक अरेंजमेंट्स तो अगेन दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन हैज गिव्स अस नो इसका कोई फायदा नहीं है फिर वो कह रहे हैं इट रिएक्ट्स विद एथेनॉल एक एनिवेस्ट टू प्रोड्यूस अ मिक्सचर ऑफ ओनली थ्री आइसोमर्स और मेरे ख्याल से ये सबसे वैलिड इन्फॉर्मेशन थी What does ethanolic NaOH do? That's let's go call look ethanolic NaOH. What does it do? Uh, ethanolic NaOH is. What is our halogen alkanes? Elimination. It does. It does elimination. So ethanolic NaOH is the uh, SN one SN two. वो सारा भी छोड़ दो इलिमिनेशन एथेनॉलिक एनिवेज व्हाट इट व्हाट इट डज इज एनिवेज एथेनॉलिक रिफ्लक्स द सीएल गेट्स रिमूव्ड एंड द एच गेट्स रिमूव्ड फ्रॉम द नेबरिंग कार्बन एटम एंड दे टर्न इनटू एन अल्कीन बैक अगेन तो यहां पे यही होगा कि बीआर रिमूव होगा अब इफ आई रिमूव द बीआर आइदर द डबल बॉन्ड इज गोइंग टू बी ओवर हियर और द डबल बॉन्ड इज गोइंग टू बी फॉर्मड ओवर हियर तो कितने आइसोमर्स बनेंगे देयर विल जस्ट बी टू उसने क्या कहा कि इट्स गोइंग टू फॉर्म It's going to form three isomers. ठीक है. So is this clear that this one is going to form just two different alkenes? Clear? Yes, sir. Either be BR remove करोगे तो either the double bond is going to be on this side or the double bond is going to be on this side. So two uh, different isomers, right? इसके कितने बनेंगे? Three. थी क्योंकि अगर मैं बी आर रिमूव करता हूँ ना अब वो डबल बॉन्ड ऊपर भी बन सकता है इस कार्बन के साथ भी डबल बॉन्ड इधर भी बन सकता है डबल बॉन्ड इधर भी बन सकता है ठीक है तो देर थ्री पॉसिबल लोकेशन विद डबल बॉन्ड कुड बी फॉर्म सो दिस वन सो आंसर सी तो वो पहला वैसी टाइम जाएगी वो वो वैसी चेक करते हैं हमने कहा था शायद उससे आंसर नहीं करा दिस इज दिस वन विल ऑल्सो फॉर्म टू टू एल्किन दी आर इज गोइंग टू गेट रिमूव आई दर डबल बॉन्ड इज गोइंग टू बी ओवर और इट्स गोइंग टू बी ओवर है तो सी है क्लियर है सी है तो चलो ठीक है ये अच्छा ये सारों क्लियर है क्लियर है और क्यों क्लियर है तो ये बैठ के इसके किधर क्वेश्चंस करो ना इसके ट्वेंटी नहीं किधर से शुरू हो रहा है ऑर्गेनिक शुरू हो रहा है फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी फोर है क्या नहीं नहीं ट्वेंटी सिक्स है तो ट्राई डूइंग द क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी सिक्स दिस इज समर ट्वेंटी टू वन टू ठीक है ओके सर ओके सर ओके एवरीवन टेक केयर लाफ इस सर वो मैंने ऑर्गेनिक के नोट्स वगैरह नहीं लिखे हुए तो सर ये अगर ये सेशन खत्म होता है तो ये आप वीडियोस हटा देंगे या नहीं वीडियोस तो है तो नोट्स भी तो है ना वो उस पे बोर्ड पे जी सर तो आप वीडियोस हटा देंगे जी वीडियोस तो वही है बस वीडियोस की लोकेशन शायद चेंज हो जाए मतलब वो मैं अगर वो ड्राइव पे डाल देता हूँ एक और डाल देता हूँ फिर वो वो वाले लिंक नहीं काम करेंगे ना तो फिर वो पूछ लेना मेरे से ठीक है ओके सर चलो ओके अल्लाह अल्लाह